Here we have the bones of a Royal Enfield 250 uh, engine which I was about to start putting together for a Continental GT. Um, it involves a set of crankcases that the owner sent me which have cleaned up and fitted all new bearings to, to replace the set removed from the bike um, as he wants to use these replacement cases and a reconditioned crankshaft he sent me. The old crank is out of the old set of cases. Um, I've, I was all ready to put everything together, put the crank in and close the cases and we've got the uh, reconditioned crank here which has been ground to minus 40 and has uh, new big end shells which are a good free smooth fit with no play all oiled up and ready to go in um, but there's just one problem uh, here's the old main bearing that went with this crankshaft here and as we can see on the old crank the main bearing is a very close fit in fact may even be necessary normally to warm the bearing up before the crank is slid into it or if it's got to be driven in it would have to be driven in with great care probably probably pulled through by something on this part here with a washer on the nut but anyway basically it's a very close tight fit and uh, when you come to this crankshaft it's all ready to fit I tried it in the crankcase and noticed that there was a problem and I'll demonstrate with this old main bearing it's just sort of slips on there and actually can walk about. So the inner race is not a tight fit on the main shaft. It's not just a free sliding fit, it's actually a very, very slightly loose fit, um, which is not really how we want it to be not a great deal of play there but I can just detect it so it's not really good and that's on the drive side which takes a lot of strain so I can even slide the bearing and sort of bounce it back off see it bouncing back so it's certainly not a tight fit on the main shaft so I made this video uh, well for my own benefit but mainly so I can explain to the owner what we've run into here and uh, we'll have to possibly come up with uh, something else but it may not cause a great problem to fit it and run it like that but it's not really meant to be like that and it could cause minor vibrations and it could also put stresses on this end of the crankshaft here which will be a good fit in its main bearing so you could end up in a situation where this end is trying to sort of move about very, very slightly in the main bearing and trying to hold it steady and it could even, worst case scenario, is uh, result in a broken crankshaft. So first thing I'm going to do about this is speak to the owner and see where we're going from there. I'm not exactly sure why you wouldn't want to use the old crank but uh, well, we may even have to. We'll cross that bridge uh, when we come to it, I guess. But at least for now, I'm going to let this job grind to a halt and await further instructions and discussion. As, uh, it needs pointing out, and I think something needs to be done.